I continue to refine and adapt the current products. As I mentioned, we have a suite of materials in different categories. Clear sealers, pigmented sealers, lacquers, urethanes, conversion varnishes, uh, long oil varnishes, again, all in the water-based medium. Now, over the years, resin sources change. New resins are made available to us. And in these challenging times, uh, over the last 18 months, there has been supply chain issues that have forced the hand of not just Target Coatings, but many coatings manufacturers to take a look at what it is that they're working with, find alternatives to resins that they're not able to get, uh, take a look at new performance additives, defoamers, leveling agents, different materials that we've been purchasing from sources that are outside the U.S., and look for alternatives that are easier to get. Now, my philosophy has always been to use U.S.-based materials. All the polymers and all the urethanes that I spec into the MTech finishes are manufactured here in the United States. Certain fine raw materials and performance additives come from offshore. So we have to look at the challenges of obtaining those materials and see how they play into some new formulations. Based on the spray equipment that our customers use today, I've been working carefully adjusting my formulations to ensure that they spray well out of everything from small two-stage do-it-yourself turbines to high-performance air-assisted airless and airless spray equipment. So I've taken nothing for granted by making sure that my products perform well through a variety of delivery systems. Well, what we're doing now in product development for introduction in 2022 is new versions of some standing formulations. A new version of the EM6000 production lacquer is being released as we speak. Uh, a new version of the EM8000 as well. And I continue to do my research on alternatives to 2K urethanes, uh, making sure that my customers have safe alternatives to the isocyanate systems that are on the market today. I continue to fine tune my 1K urethanes and introducing some unique alternatives in the 2K marketplace.